In this example, we are going to need to create an inequality that represents the, an interval of numbers that are no more than or maybe no less than a certain value. So for instance, find the interval on the real number line that contains all numbers that lie no more than two units from three. So the numbers, let me write this in gray, the numbers that lie no more than two, so it could be two or less than two, from three. So the numbers from three on a number line, here's three. The numbers from three that are no more than two units. So I go two units to the left, and I go two units to the right, so my answer is going to be between 1 and 5. So I can reason this out because they're pretty easy numbers, a matter of fact, no more than the number of fingers that I have on one hand. However, how do we represent this as an absolute value and an inequality? Because that's the part you're going to have to do on a test. The number isn't going to, the answer is not going to be 1 and 5. The answer is going to be represent this as an absolute value or as an inequality and or both. Therefore, we have to say distance is always positive. So now I've got the absolute value. So the numbers from three, I don't know what those numbers are. So x and then the distance would be subtraction. So x minus three is less than or equal to two. And that's how you write that. So I like to think of it this way. From is your minus sign. And then whatever number follows that from three comes right after your minus sign. And then the part that determines the inequality, no more than, no more than, so that would be less than or equal to two. So no more than two. Now how do we solve this? Let's just solve this to check to make sure we know how to algebraically get one and five. Well, the absolute value of x minus three is less than or equal to two. You did this in college algebra. You rewrite less than is an and, so we're going to rewrite this, x minus 3 is less than or equal to 2, and x minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now you probably, you probably wondered, why do you do that? Why do you flip it and then make it a negative? Well, x, the absolute value of x minus 3 is the same thing as x minus 3 when x is greater than or equal to 3. And the absolute value of x minus 3 is also the opposite of x minus 3 when x is less than negative, when x is less than positive 3. x is less than positive 3. So let's look at this right here. Let me use a purple. Let's use, let's use this blue. So the opposite of x minus 3. If I take the opposite of x minus 3 is less than or equal to 2. Okay, so there's your less than, let's move it up here, it doesn't like, undo. Okay, there we go. So there's your less than or equal to two. You take your the opposite of everything that's inside the absolute value. So the opposite of all of x minus three, that's negative x plus three. Or, watch this, 
I can divide both sides by a negative. This is some fancy schmancy stuff right here. Divide both sides by a negative or a negative one and you get x minus three because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. But because we divided both sides by a negative, we flip the symbol. And then two divided by a negative is negative two. And that's why that works. Okay, I hope that was fun for you. X is less than or equal to five and X is greater than or equal to one. So let's do this on a number line. 1 is to the left, 5 is to the right. We've got x is less than or equal to 5. And then x is greater than or equal to 1. And because it's and, we're going to do the overlapping. So any numbers between negative 1 and 5. So negative one to five with brackets. So those are all the numbers they share. And all of those numbers would be no more than two units away from three. Okay, let's see if you can try. Again, you heard me say that this is a test item and how it's going to be written on the test. So make sure that you're not coming up with the final answer alone, that you're able to write this out as an absolute value inequality. Press pause, give it a whirl, and when you're ready to come back and check your answer, press play. Okay, welcome back. You should have gotten the absolute value of x minus six is less than or equal to four. And when you solve that, because it's an and, you can say x minus six is less than or equal to four and x minus six is greater than or equal to negative four. Well, they both share an x minus six. So x minus six has to be less than or equal to four, less than or equal to four, but at the same time, it's gotta be greater than or equal to negative four. So greater than, I know that's not the greater than sign, but when I'm reading this, x minus six is greater than, because the inequality is going, I, I think of it like an alligator. The alligator is eating the x minus six, so that means the x minus six is larger. The x minus six is definitely larger. Is greater than or equal to negative four. And then we add six to all three parts, and we get two is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 10. So x is between two and 10 inclusive, meaning two and 10 are included.